Just missing here. And this for the par. And finishing this one with a good putt. And as we check the standings, he's still holding down first place after that one. And next on the plate is the eighth hole. Looks like a seven iron. This one's looking good, folks. This putt's for birdie. Ooh, and that was very, very close. And tapping in for par. And after that one, uh, four under is the score for the day. Okay, and on to the ninth. Well, I'm pretty sure this is going to land in the fairway here. And about 200 yards to the pin. Going with the four iron here. Very well played and hitting this par five and two is going to set up some nice eagle opportunities here. And the putt drops for eagle. And as he finishes up on the ninth here, Luke, he's found himself in a pretty favorable position. Oh, I love this part of any tournament, John. Nine holes to go. They call it the finish, the championship finish. Who's got the strongest mind as well as the most complete game? Will this leader be able to take it all the way to the house? Gee, I hope so. Thanks, Luke. Now let's get back to it. And he's got to be happy with that. About 15 feet to the cup from here. Oh, I thought that one was going to be in. This putt's about a two footer. And that one's going to go for putt. And after that one, there's six under for the day. And that means he's first overall on the leaderboard. Okay, now moving on to the 11th. And this is looking fairway bound. And this one's looking pretty good. And with that, he is on the dance floor. And this putt's for birdie. And a nice putt. And no change uh, ranking-wise after that hole. And moving along now on the 12th hole. And I think you'll like that. Oh. 
from a 21 feet away. Ooh, I thought that was going to go. And for the par. And after that one, he's still holding on to the first place spot. All right, let's see what uh, happens on the 13th hole here. Well, this one's looking pretty good. I think he'll be happy with that. And this one's for Birdie. Yeah, that one's uh, right in the cup. And no change for him leaderboard-wise after that hole. And now setting up on this par three. And heading for the green. And that approach is on with a uh, lengthy putt coming up. Oh my goodness. This one's about two feet from the cup. And the par putt drops. And sitting at eight under par after that hole. And now teeing off on this par four. Fourteen feet away. Okay, and let's uh, have a look at the leaderboard. And no change in the standings uh, after that hole. And setting up on the 16th tee. Yeah, I think this one's gonna find the fairway. From 170 yards out. Going with the seven iron on this one. This one's heading for the green. Oh my gracious, that was close. And this? for the birdie. And 
And that putt drops. And he's still at the top of the leaderboard after that one. And now setting up on the par three. Going with a pitching wedge here. Looks like this is going a bit long. Well, the approach did find the green, but uh, quite a long distance putt ahead. And now from 15 feet. Oh, I thought that was going to go. This putt is for the bogey. And after that hole, currently sitting at eight under. And picking up on the 18th hole action here. Let's see what happens. Well, this one's looking like it's in the fairway. And about 105 yards to the pin from here. Shot's looking pretty good. And this next putt for a 63 on the final round. And that one will drop for birdie. And he's done it, folks. You are now looking at the Shriners Hospital for Children Open Champion. This will be a great victory on their resume. To win anywhere is a big deal. But right here in Las Vegas at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open, top victory this one. Well, I'm sure you'll agree we saw some pretty good golf today. Thanks for tuning in. Hello and welcome to the Tall Palms Classic. My name is Luke Elvey. Alongside me, as always, is John McCarthy. And we're excited to bring this day's action to you. And John, getting off to a good start is paramount. How do the players have to play this opening hole? Well, Arizona Azure starts off with a pretty hefty par three. We have a bunker protecting the front right of this green. And we also have a bunker to the back left. So hopefully people can get their tee shots close on this one. And ladies and gentlemen, we have witnessed history. That was a hole in one. And starting today's round off at...